Minnesota's Bureau of Criminal Apprehension released new information today about last week's standoff with Rochester police. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brock Burgey. According to the Southern Minnesota Regional Medical Examiner's Office, 34-year-old William Carter of Rochester died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound during the November 30th standoff outside TJ Maxx Plaza. The BCA says Carter made several phone calls earlier that day threatening to hurt himself and others. During the more than four hour long standoff, police tried to negotiate with Carter, who was inside his parked vehicle in front of KAAL. The BCA says police heard a shot from inside Carter's vehicle, which prompted them to deploy, quote, various less than lethal rounds to try and get him to leave his vehicle. Carter is then said to have fired a handgun several times at officers hitting one police vehicle. The BCA says officers heard another shot from inside the vehicle where Carter was later found dead. Police did not return fire. The BCA reports recovering a handgun from inside the vehicle at the crime scene. The BCA is reviewing camera footage as part of its investigation. Once that investigation is complete, the BCA will forward its findings to the Olmstead County Attorney's Office. Normally, KTDC does not report on deaths by suicide. However, because of the public safety component at the time of this incident, we are continu continuing to provide you with updates here. That said, if you or someone you know is in need of assistance, the Suicide, suicide and Crisis Lifeline is available around the clock to listen. The number is on your screen there, 988.